Hello naughty steppers, I hope you're all doing very well. Outside once again because it is time for another episode of Rave Reviews. This time episode 6. Amazing, it's almost 7 o'clock and it is still bright as day. Absolutely loving it. And I'm off once again to work bar in Angel uh, where I was for the uh, Chime and Fox Stevenson night. But today I'm going to the album launch of Joe Ford and it's being backed up by DJ Mag, which is pretty cool. And we've also got the likes of Mentrix, uh, Coven and Document One, all drum and bass legends playing throughout the course of the night. I'm pretty excited. I haven't been to a drum and bass night for a while. So yeah, it should be fun. I've listened to the album in preparation which came out last Friday. Hoping the format will be similar to other rave review videos where I'll just be filming some of the sets and then hopefully catching up with some of the artists in the uh, smoking area if they're gonna be available to chat. I assume they will be seeing as it's at work bar again. But enough of this introductory chat and I shall see you all on the other side. walk into the event. So there we go.
so I'm here with uh, Katie from Coven. Uh, caught the end of her set, which was uh, very good. Um, <laughs> just a few quick questions, uh, production-wise. Oh, so well, yeah. Production. So um, or like just the music sure, that you make. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> um, what is your favourite thing about producing the music that you do? Um, my favourite thing about um, <laughs> such a hard question. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's what I, um, anyone I okay, interview so asks the same thing. It's really hard. So um. Obviously, I'm in a duo with another guy, his name is Max, and yeah, he is a mind. ridiculously talented producer. So my favourite thing about producing music is that when I when I write, not me, sorry, my favourite thing about making music is that, is that when I, um, I write a track, I'll write it on like piano, or like I'll do a really rough demo and I'll record a vocal and I'll write a song, and then I send it to Max. Mm -hmm. And then Max will send me back this like masterpiece. And I'm like, how oh, have you taken that crappy demo and made it into something ridiculous and incredible? But you're saying it usually starts with you then? Um, probably like 60, 40 times. Well, Sometimes he'll send me an instrumental and I'll write to that and then we'll work with that. Amazing. Or we'll sit and we'll write together. So, but like, when I when I write a song, when I record a demo and I write a song on the piano, and, and it honestly, like the, my demos are awful, like really, really bad. So when he sends me back something and I'm like, he just sorts you out. Oh my god, honestly, I, I get this back. I'm like, how have you made that from what I sent you? What Amazing. I sent you was terrible. Like maybe the vocal melody was okay, but other than that, it was terrible. And he'll say, and I'm just like, mate, you are a genius. That's still sounds like thing. it sounds like a very organic process. Still. Yeah, it's very organic. Um, and your least favourite thing? The least favourite thing is... Uh, 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 I don't know. It springs it's, to mind anything? Um, the music industry generally is quite long. Okay. So the time it takes for a track to be released. So you're like so excited about a tune and you're like, oh, I love this song, oh, I can't wait for people to hear it. And then like it's a year later and you're like, still oh, really yeah, you yeah. want people to hear that. Yeah, and then like six months later and you're like, I'm going to hear it now and I don't like it anymore because I made it year and a half ago. And you probably heard it too many times. Yeah, well, it's like, we're actually not really sure about that song anymore, but oh, thanks anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Final question. Um, an artist or a song that you really like at the moment that you would recommend to people? Tough, tough one. Um, I really, really like everything that Memtrix is putting out. Mm. Mem I know he's playing tonight. Is I actually played one of his tunes tonight as well. Sick. He is really, I think he's quite underrated and he looks so talented. Like, yeah. I'd say he's next to Max, one of my favourite producers. Max Sick. is an absolutely incredible producer. And it, Mem Memtrix is one of those people that whenever he puts a tune out, I'm just like, yes, yes, repeat, repeat, repeat. So, um, just yeah, like, for sure. anything you put out, basically. Cool. Um, and what can we expect to see from Coburn soon, if you can say anything? All the music. All the music. All the, all all the, music. the tunes. All the music in that one. It's all the music. <laughs> cool. In the shape of, like, singles or... Oh, we've got an EP coming out quite soon. Okay, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think really No, 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 that's yeah, fine. That's we've perfect. We've got an EP coming out soon, like, in all right. month. So watch out for that, guys. Yeah, watch right. out. Thank you very much, Coburn. See you soon.
walking out of work bar now uh, what a fantastic event honestly you know drum and bass is not my go-to genre by any means when it comes to listening to dark electronic music but when it's in a live setting like that I would happily argue that there isn't a more gripping genre to listen to even on repeat like that for what was it four hours but now honestly all the sets were great and you know some of them were a little bit more chilled some of them much heavier like Joe Ford's yeah he really brought the filth to his set for sure but now honestly I think also with a couple of EPs I've listened to lately I'm getting into drum and bass again much more I used to love it a few years ago um, but kind of that kind of quelled a little bit uh, in more recent times but yeah now again I think I'm starting to really really love it so you know onwards and upwards with listening to that style of music massive props to Katie from Coven as well for giving me that interview uh, very uh, honest and in-depth a very good insight into the dynamic between her and Max who is the other half of Coven so yeah that was a I feel like that was a very good interview to have done happy with that one but yeah about to go back into the tube now so i will see you guys on the other side for a quick little outro just before i leave you guys i am going to point you in the direction of that joe ford album which came out last friday it's called colors and sound it's got features from all the other artists that were playing tonight uh, and you know I'd even recommend it if drum and bass wasn't something that you particularly liked uh, it delves into a couple of other styles or genres across the 13 tracks so yeah definitely check it out I actually asked Joe if he could give a few words on the production process of his album for this video but unfortunately he was caught up in something at that time or at the time rather and was very apologetic about that which is fine you know he said we could plan to do the interview at another stage later on didn't dampen what was a fantastic night overall so yeah i'm happy that i went to it free event of course so can't complain there all in all a very very good and worthwhile experience i think i'm going to wrap up the latest episode of rave reviews there thank you guys very much for watching like this video if you can share it about subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever i upload a new video to the naughty step channel Next to my head, there should be a link to some other Rave Reviews videos if you enjoyed this one. And never, ever forget, 
if it is naughty then you know guys so be sure as always to keep it naughty and stay safe and i shall see you all in the next one peace out